Okay, my name is Chidame Demir. I made the work Freedom from Transparency um, at the Oxford Art Factory for the Free Fall program. So it started off with um, I was asked to do something in the cube, and you know there was this idea that I could do anything as an artist in that cube. Whereas in fact I kind of saw it as a bit of a limitation because everyone could see me, and really I couldn't. I mean, uh, I could see them too, but um, I really didn't feel comfortable with that zoo kind of idea that, you know, you're in there and you're performing for everyone else. So, and I'm also interested in my practice with um, architecture as a metaphor for dress. So both in architecture and dress, you're um, making certain adjustments to um, reveal and conceal certain parts. So I liked uh, the fact that it was an architecture that I can play around with. Um, so what I ended up doing was covering the entire cube with a burqa. It's kind of like my extremist activity series. It's a bit of an extension of that. But um, this time, rather than me peering out of the, the slit for the eyes, the audience were invited to look in. And as they approached the slit, um, they, a uh, mirror tint was on the glass, uh, so as they approached it, they see themselves in the burqa, and then as they got a bit closer, they were able to see inside, and I was inside, watching TV, playing computer games, clicking on Facebook, eating kebabs, dancing, dancing to the music. It was really good fun. Uh, it turned out a lot better than I thought it would. I wanted it to be mysterious and I think it did achieve that, you know, this giant black cube that people are so used to seeing through and interacting with. Well, I wanted the audience to engage with their own gaze, you know, their, their own, um, the way they look at Muslim women. So rather than it being something like a spectacle as in my extremist activity series, you know, it was such a spectacle that, you know, um, you couldn't not look at it. Whereas this time, it was definitely mysterious and I like that about it. Um, this giant black cloth and that people actually had to walk up towards it and have to even bend down and look through this tiny little sl slit to be able to see what's going on inside. And I liked uh, subverting that kind of gaze because, you know, often, I mean, with Orientalism especially, uh, in contemporary art and modern art, um, you know, the Muslim or Arabic woman was presented as this exotic um, thing, sub, um, passive, you know, unable to represent themselves, therefore they need to be represented. So there's all these ideas around what a, a real Muslim or a real Arab person, I'm not Arabic, but I am Muslim, what, what they're really like, you know. And I kind of wanted to subvert that so that when people came up and looked at it, they were seeing things that were actually quite ordinary, you know, playing computer games and being on Facebook. It's, it's probably not what they expected. In a globalised society like it is today, like everyone's, you know, eating kebabs and, yeah. you know, like it's not so demarcated. We're not as totally different as we think we are. That's also one of my frustrations that contemporary artists try to pr represent Muslims in those kind of orientalist ways that are so outdated and yet you see them being reproduced again and again. You know, either they're exotic or, you know, the Muslim women is presented as though uh, they're really solemn and, you know, overly spiritual or, you know, and I just don't see, I don't relate to any of those kinds of ways of being. I mean, even as a veiled woman, I wore a veil for 10 years. Um, so I don't wear one now, but I certainly didn't feel like that when I was wearing it, you know, overly spiritual or someone that people could come to for religious advice. Yeah, it was just really funny that people had this perception of me and who I was based on what I was wearing. That mysterious, we don't know how to deal with you, um, we have to... <laughs> You know, we have to talk about religion because that's the only way we know how to connect with you.
you know, it's whenever you see Muslims in the media, it's either, you know, as, you know, they're really peaceful, you know, these Muslims are peaceful, or, you know, they're terrorists. It's really no space in between to just be. They can't be ordinary people, you know, they've got to be this or that. And that kind of contributes towards Islamophobia because, you know, you're still something different or exotic or, you know, different. We can't, we don't know how to come to terms with you. We don't know how to engage with you. That's Islamophobia, in my opinion. Thank you.